So let me introduce you to my sister. This is my sister Juliet. Hi. I also call Juggy, but that's a very long story which we tell you while we're making this. Yep. So the reason she's helping me today is because uh, we are making mom's favorite chow. Yeah. yeah. So mom used to make us this dish when we were small that was filled with lots and lots of vegetables, and it used to have ham and bacon and everything was tossed in butter and. Uh, ketchup and we used to really relish it. Yeah. So um, since uh, it's December and everything is so nostalgic, we thought we should share with you today. In this pan is basically just water which is getting heated. So I'm going to be putting some salt in this here. Jaggi is going to be now helping me with sorting all the vegetables. Yeah. We're going to put some oil, a nice big blob of butter. This is all yours. Yeah, a little salt. So one afternoon, we were both sitting together and we were discussing how we don't have pet names. And we were reading Archie comics. We were reading Archie yeah. comics, yeah. And uh, then uh, we were sitting and uh, we, we decided to do your No, no, don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. okay. I'm fine, I'm not fine. But <laughs> <laughs> My sister's on the edge. Yeah, just smile <laughs> on the edge when she's in the kitchen. Okay, so we've just added red peppers and yellow peppers to this mix. And we were sitting and we were we said, okay, we'll think about this for half an hour and uh, we'll come up with pet names for each other. So after half an hour, we had none. And we were reading Archie comics and I looked at her and I said, okay, that's it, I'm calling you Juggy. And she said, no, no, I hate it, you can't call me Juggy. And because I, I said, wasn't a foodie, foodie, honestly, I would hardly yeah. eat. Yeah, I'm so also the was not, uh, foodie in the family. Yeah. I'm the one who eats a lot, and uh, and she kept telling me, no, no, don't, don't. That's not cool. And I said, no, that's it, because we don't have any names at the moment. I'm calling you Juggy. So inside this goes some chicken bacon. These are French beans. I'm just going to parboil them. So I'm just going to put them into this water here. Just look at all these pretty bones. These are from curators of clay. Maria was a foodie. Ever since she was young, and she would eat and eat and eat all the samosas in the canteen and all the what do you call uh, vada pavs. But Maria always managed to stay thin, which was fantastic. Because things. Maria woke up in the morning and went for a run. Chicken salami. The par boil. We're going to go into this. You know, it was just a beautiful experience to watch my mom and dad make this. I'm just going to let this go in. A little oil, butter, some salt, East Indian bhakti masala that my mom used to know. The magic. The magic portion. So we're gonna cook this really well. Garlic, some cream into these vegetables here. Okay, putting a little olive oil into our pasta here. The eggs, peas, a little more butter and my mother used to add ketchup. So I'm going to be adding ketchup. That's about it. That is it. It's just flavors of childhood come together in a bowl. The mothership. The final judge is my is mom. And uh, Mama, please taste this and tell me what you think of it. Well, these are too long, they are not free. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy. Is it? It's very tasty. Does it taste like how mummy used to make it chow? Tastes, it tastes exactly like mummy what mummy used to do. Yeah. Yeah. And that special ingredient is just adding to the flavor. To the flavor. So it's fantastic. So yeah. what I did, Mama, was I added bottle masala to your chow. Uh -huh. So that's it. Mummy's chow worked, and um, the the maker of this recipe gets a tight kissy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.